Okay, so you are given two prisms here. Let me give you some details. You can pause the video and solve it, but before that, let me give you some information. This is a prism, a glass block, which is 90 degrees at one of the angles and other two angles are 45 degrees. Other two angles are 45 degrees. This is your 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. So please solve these two questions, pause the video and you can play it to look at the answers. Alright, so I hope that you have solved this question. Let us now look at the answer. Let me take this question on my whiteboard. So here we are. So part A. Question number 1. Talking about question number 1. Glass has a critical angle of 41 degrees. They are saying that the critical angle is 41 degrees. What does it explain what this means? What does it mean? If the angle of incidence is 41 degrees, which is same as the critical angle, the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. That's your answer for question number 1. Alright, let us come to question number 2 now. Question number 2, A part. Copy and complete the diagram on the right to show where each ray, ray will go after it strikes the prism. After it strikes the prism, where the ray will go. We know that this is 45 degrees. 45 degrees, it's an isocellus, right angle isocellus prism. So how will the ray go? So a ray which is coming all the way at 0 degrees, a ray which is coming all the way at 0 degrees will pass straight through it. If you see the angle of incidence here is, how much is the angle of incidence? 0 degrees. Why? Because with the normal, the incident ray is coinciding. The angle of incidence, the incident ray is on the normal. Incident ray is on the normal i is equal to 0 and we know that for refraction sin i over sin r is equal to n right so you can use this formula when i is equal to 0 you'll find that r is also 0 it will pass straight through or you can always remember when the angle of incidence is on the normal it passes straight through there is no bending when the angle of incidence is 0. It will pass straight through. Let us draw a normal at this point. Let's draw a normal here. The normal would be something like this. This is my normal. How much is the angle of incidence? 45 degrees. You will have to do some maths to find the angle of incidence which comes out to be 45 degrees. Now let us look at the angle of incidence which is 45 degrees. 45 is more than the critical angle. Critical angle is given to you. So what happens? Angle of incidence is more than the critical angle. Total internal reflection will take place taking care that the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. Taking care that this 45 degrees which is the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. I will be equal to R. Total internal reflection. Total internal reflection is taking place. Again, if you see come at the third boundary, the light is falling at an angle of 0 degrees. The light and the normal, they are coinciding. Angle of incidence is 0 here. 
So the angle of refraction is also zero. The light will emerge straight through it. The light will emerge straight through it. Now the last bit of things that are remaining are to put the arrows. Put the arrows everywhere and this completes your answer. Let us look at the second question now. Here also if you see the angle of incidence is zero. So the angle of refraction is zero. The light will move straight through, straight through this end. Right. Let us draw the normal here. Let us draw the normal. Let me use a different color for the normal. This is your normal. All right. How much is the angle of incidence? Do some maths. Here also the angle of incidence is 45 degrees, which is more than the critical angle. So total internal reflection will take place. Total internal reflection will take place. The light will move like this. It will come here at 45 degrees. Let us draw the normal at the second striking point here. The normal would be something like this. What is the angle of incidence with the normal now? The new angle of incidence. Again here it's 45 degrees. Total internal reflection will take place again because 45 is more than, more than the critical angle. It is falling on the third surface again. But it is falling at a 0 degree so it will pass straight through it. The last bit of things is to put the arrows. All right, so this is your solution. This is your working. Okay, so the second point says, part B says, if the prism on the right were transparent triangular prism filled with water, would total internal reflect reflection still occur? So first you'll have to find out for this, I'll give you the hint how to solve the part B. For part B to part B, you'll find the critical angle for water. How do you find the critical angle for water? It is 1 over sine of C is 1 over N. What is the critical, what is the refractive index of water? 1.3. You can solve this equation to find the critical angle for water and accordingly you can answer this question.